Okay. Turnabout sisters. Ring. 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 I mean, I suppose it's doing its own. Beep. Hello? This is Maya. Hey, Maya. It's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. It's- I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey! I'm not a little girl anymore, sis! Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Ah. <sighs> I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame! I had to take the clock word out. Work out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well... There's a possibility that it might turn out that way. Yes. Can you come by the office tonight? Say, nine? To pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis. But I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. All right! It's a deal! Okay, sis. See you soon! Yep. I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded September 5th, 9.27 a.m. September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Fay and Co. Law Offices. So this is that night. Now, Miss Fay, I'll take what's mine. Papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I what I don't have. Miss Fay, poor liar. I see it right over there. That must be the thing that swallowed those papers. How could you know? <laughs> You're not cogniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. <laughs> my dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry. I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. Oh. Well, yeah, wrong voice for the guy. Don't worry, I'll change it as we go along. Red, white, blue. See, I don't remember the villains at all, so... September 5th, 9.08 p.m. Fay Co. Law Offices. Oh, is it gonna be Maya coming in? Uh-oh, I'm late. Oh, Phoenix. Huh? That's strange. Is the chief left without me? She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. Uh... What's that smell? Blood. Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Examine. Move. Ficus. Oh, is this gonna... That smell. Blood! <laughs> 
princess. Someone's there. Ah, oh, chief, chief, chief. Who are you? Mm. Oh, did she faint too? The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. Went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then all too quickly it began to fade, until finally she was cold. Chief. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here. She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker added to the court record. Huh. There's some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Yeah, there it is. Glass shards under the court record. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Huh? A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hands. What could it be? Oh, it says Maya. Maya. Ah. A word is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. Why is there that one window with the blinds up? It's painful to look, but I have to for Mia's sake. Blunt weapon, probably done instantly. Okay. Glass shattered on the floor. Just making sure there isn't anything else. The chief's chair. A simple functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. Look at the window. Just a moment. There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. Oh. If I remember Could right, they spy on her through that window? Potentially. Uh, yeah, we can see stuff. I, I think there's security camera footage or something. Mm hmm Right, because her window was open at the time. Right. I better call the police. Hmm? That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please, oh. come quick. What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? Ah! Ah. Oh. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Oh, accusing him of potentially being the... One receiver's missing a few screws. Better not use it. Anything else about the papers on the ground? Banco ledger book. Everything is written in the chief's alternate ha handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Perfectly normal office desk. The chief has had a very particular policy about office decor. It's been big on the stuff that the clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. About all she used this PC for was email. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. Man, the soundtrack. Mm-hmm. I dig it. Alright. Ah, that girl just now, where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. Hope she didn't run on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? <sighs> it's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya! So Mew is writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. What happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I gotta know. Uh, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? Hmm. I came in. The room was dark. And sis... Sis! So she was already dead. You and the chief. So you're the chief's... Sister. I'm her younger sister. 
And you were here visiting? This late at night? Yes. She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It... It was that clock. It was... The Thinker. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. my name why why would she write my name please just calm down why would sis write my name uh oh now i've done it <gasps> it's the police ah, the police sounds like they're coming this way freeze police bam, 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 bam. oh right it's this guy all Gumshoe. right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, you see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? I got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great, just great. Maya, uh, wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! <gasps> this word Maya here mean anything to you? <laughs> Sorry, brain. It's because you've been yeah. voice acting voice act all the characters. Most of the characters, you only have the females, and they're very few and far between. So I'm just like, ah. Anyway, keep going. Uh, every once in a while, I keep hearing you make the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, manly Maya. I actually... Oh, God. Uh, what, the series, the series, the, uh, the thing that even clued me into Phoenix Wright years ago, I think it was a John Sue picture, he was just doing a bunch of scribbles of Phoenix Wright characters, mm -hmm. and Maya is very obviously, like, a spirit medium, so, you know, plot thing for later, she can, like, host ghosts who give you, like, tips, and so it was, like, other characters, including the, uh, the judge, I think it was, hmm. and so, um, uh, it was just like a picture of like kind of a fusion between her and the you know the judge the the bearded judge all the time it was really dumb looking and i i'd never even thought to think like you know look into this before and then our friend uh really got into it and it was just like oh maybe we should actually play these games anyway um that that's my name what <gasps> the victim drew this here note in her own blood see her dying breath, she broke down the killer's name. K killer I'm not- Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 a.m., Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh, it's you, the lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well... That's what I wanted to talk to you about. First things first, I better get her all cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. But, really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Uh, what's, what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? Mm. No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office. You looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought... It, it's okay. I understand. <sighs> and I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. 
Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> so, he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the heart of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. That's what she said. Uh... uh, uh I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... <sighs> I know. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Acolytes? Like, people in religious training? What is it to you? Oh, or what is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. Spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Day of the crime. Could you tell me more about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in the case? Um, right. She said something about that. Mm, I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Hear her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah. Uh, I forgot how to delete those things. Your cell phone. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on the cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh. I just remembered. That detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gum Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Maya's memo added to the court record. Spirit mediums. Is there an acolyte, uh, medium in training? That's right. The Fay family, especially the woman, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. The men are a little bit more insensitive. <laughs> Insulting ghosts never goes well, so we usually just force them out of it. Wait a second, you said the Faye family. So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I I had no idea. Huh. Wait. What? So you're a real honest to goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes. In training. Well, can't you contact me a spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. <gasps> I... I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Huh. Thought that would be too easy. Hmm. Also, that would never be accepted as evidence. No. But it would put him in the right direction at least. Mm hmm Um... Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? Hmm? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Huh. Sure? Sure, why not? I'll go ask. 
Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Hmm? Huh? Say, what about your parents? Hmm. Hmm. Well, my dad tried to channel Guan Yu, and then it all went down from there. <laughs> I... Oh, that's you. I, I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. The visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. All right, I'll be back. Oh, you're not going to ask them about the day? The oh, day of the day crime. Of the crime. Would you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to the piece of evidence for the upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. <laughs> so then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9. The lights were off and I could smell blood. The, then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Well, did you have to present her with something? Remember that receipt? You, you mean the one with my name on it? Any idea why she... Absolutely none! Um, do you trust me? I trust you. Why? Don't you think I did it too? No, I don't. It's just a hunch, but... That detective thinks I did it. Flash shards? This is lying next to the chief's body. I saw that too. They said that they thought that these were pieces of a broken light stand. Yeah, that seems to be about right. I'd never heard of a glass light stand before this before. Uh, before this. Mm. Okay, I don't think we need- oh, right. Not that it's super helpful. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I've never seen that before. Ah! Oh. Uh, let's see. Examine. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He has moved an inch. Real pro, this guy. Camera. Smile for the camera. Grossberg. Okay, so it's not Edgeworth. September 6th. The Grossberg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. You couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll have to come back later. Solid mahogany desk. Wood's been polished to a deep luster. Oof, yeah. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Oh, huh, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Look at the painting. Is is that him with a dog? The painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The old paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. This guy is anything but humble. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. A table for clients. Huh. An elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made out of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here has got money to burn. Hey! What is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. I'm gonna go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Oh. Okay? September 6th. Fanco Law Offices. The office is filled with police officers. 
Oh, busily searching for clues. Hey, you there. Hey, you there. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Ah, uh, sorry, Ed. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a real, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Detective Suede Shoes. Gumtree or Suede? Detective Gumtree. Now, let's get it right. Okay. I like Suede Shoes, though. Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? D Dick Gumshoe? Right, at your sh service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't call, go call me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Uh, yes, sir. Be, be right there. Aww. Uh, uh, ahem. You're her lawyer, right, pal? You got business here. You better do it quick. Whew, thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Examine. An old movie poster. Apparently, this is the first movie that made Maya cry when she, or Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scary still is that Mia probably read all of these. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean. As always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. Mia's favorite potted plant. I remember it had this bizarre name that no one could quite ever remember. Cordelian Stricta, pal. Who was that? The sky is blue, and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Talk. Mia. About Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Huh? You wanna know the results, eh? Uh. Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all. Time of death? Yeah, 9 p.m. 9 PM. Single, yeah, blunt force trauma. Death is instantaneous. Maya. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that trial. Sorry, pal, but this this is one trial you aren't gonna win. Why do you say that? I said you just put pro Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. <gasps> Edgeworth. Edgeworth! I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Edgeworth! Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's Arch right, nemesis. Pal. Mr. Miles, Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you know him, don't you? Of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, don't you talk about him that way. You make him sound, you make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this is pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth's on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with almost an abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Present. Thinker. I was wondering, do you know anything about this? That statue? That's the murder weapon. Huh? He thinks the clock is just a statue, too. I sort of wish I'd never seen this thing. <laughs> there was a broken glass at the crime scene, right? Huh? Oh, that! Seems like a glass stand next to the victim fell over. Glass shards were pieces of broken stand. It probably isn't, knowing how yeah, this Yeah, oh, absolutely goes. not. There's a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah! The one with the killer's name written on it. Are you, are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it was her handwriting or not. It wasn't. She died instantly. Somebody else wrote it. So there's no proof that Mia wrote it. Maya's memo. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that. I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure! I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer! Uh-oh. He's on to me. Tell him straight. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. Cell phone holds all the little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. 
Ah, you're trying to confuse me. <laughs> Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in, in, uh, in, in the memory. Sorry. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Maya's cell phone received. Okay. Check it to hear the recorded conversation. Guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Uh, yeah. Thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyery ways, pal. <laughs> Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. Sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me your name, Miss May, huh? So you've sent her home already, then. Haha, <laughs> you're trying your lawyery tr tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in the hotel across the way. Guess I should know better than trying to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. I'm gonna p pay a visit to Miss May. Thanks for this. Don't mention it, pal. When it comes to dealing with lawyers, fight fair and square is our motto. I don't know how I feel seeing everything written up like this. Makes me as death seem so routine. Oh, the hotel. Mm hmm Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Oh my, is she doing like... I'm just gonna let you handle Nian this one. Nian Cat business? Yes. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said... Don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> Memo to self, thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, let me go freshen up so we, I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Examine that screwdriver. Yeah, why is that sticking out of there? There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! <laughs> hey! What are you doing? No touching. Oh, bad boy. You really shouldn't be prying around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what, she, what could be inside the drawer. Oh gosh, why the heart button things? I mean, why that, that deep of a... Ugh. <laughs> Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe? Incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. I'll show you my big vocabulary. <laughs> um, uh, um, better not encourage her. Uh, you know that thing that uh, happened the other day. The, the bad thing. What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, pretty please? Let me see. Um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. Um, could you... Just exactly who are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? N no, uh, hey, I, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> you know, you're cute when you're, when you blush. I'll show you my gigantic blush. 
Believe oh gosh. Me, this is the first time in my life. I'm trying I've to make her voice as much. annoying as possible. You, you know have what succeeded. I, mean? <laughs> I don't want to look at you. Never use that voice when we're alone. Uh, <laughs> uh, right. Uh, can you just tell me it is what you do? Well, no. <laughs> you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, n no, not me. I'm a. I'm just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? Hmm? I'll show you my big detective. He's across the street. His name's Dick. I'll show I you my thought... big dick. <laughs> no, it's in the big Pikachu. The detective Pikachu. We're not watching that movie. <laughs> but I mean, like, I could, we could your, straight your up go... Your ongoing joke is, let me show you my Pikachu. Let me show now you my we... gigantic Pikachu. But now there's a detective Pikachu. Let me show you my enormous Pikachu. Let me show you my gigantic gumshoe. <laughs> the same size as dick this is the same she's guy she's saying to look in the garbage yeah well i'm just offering to go get the biggest dick i know <laughs> miss may doesn't like noisy little lawyers humph oh boy L late summer sunlight streams through the window there's fanko law office's building of course you can see inside the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. A bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. What about the roses? Anything about that, or...? Ah, I still seen painting. Wait. Should that be still life? Still Whatever. life. One of those is hanging on the wall. The flowers are fake, as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips, but... That's about the extent of my floral knowledge. Really? That looks to be all. Pretty much. Not quite. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. Present. Oh, no, no, no. Don't show her any of the evidence. Showing her things. Excuse me, but I'm a witness? Police witness, you understand? How could I possibly give you any information in good conscience, hmm? Me, the witness. It's just like in the movies. I'm gonna save just in case. I don't think it ever matters that you can, like, miss a clue. I Actually, I don't think it lets you miss a clue. Okay, thank goodness I don't have to talk in that accent anymore. Good. Except for the trial, when she inevitably has to be brought on the stand. Yeah, at which point not only are you going to have to do her in, like, that voice, but also make her freak out. And While spastic. staying in character and accent. Mm-hmm. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And... I don't know where my mother is. Don't know. Would she still be alive? The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. Unfortunately, usually what happens is we get possessed by about 30, and then that's just kind of the end of things. <laughs> about 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced that she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. You live by yourself? Yes, and I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent. Or I would lose my powers. I 
feel bad for her. All by herself, on that mountain. So, who is this man who, uh, ruins your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. Huh. The police's consultation with a medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But... A man found it out about it and linked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She... My mother became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. Uh, white. Excuse me? White? Oh, notice how. Remember after the end of the murder, there was white, red, blue, or white? Yeah. Something like that? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Huh. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? Hmm. Huh. Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. <gasps> Thank you. Okay, so that's it. Court record. I guess we have to listen to it. Okay, so we've we've already seen this. Mm -hmm. That's essentially talking about the evidence and dinner plans. 